After the number of requests we got from you guys to cover the best 11 to play with Czech Teote, after his tragic passing, we just had to pay tribute to the former Newcastle man. The Ivorian was as tough as they come, with a wicked left foot, which we're sure some Arsenal fans will remember well, after he scored that screamer against the Gunners to secure a 4 all draw for the Magpies. A strong, physical and imposing presence in midfield, Choi had an excellent couple of seasons with Newcastle. The news came on June the 5th that the 30 year old had collapsed during training and sadly passed away. Our thoughts with Teote's family and friends. Our best 11 to play with Teote is made up from those that played with him at club level. So with that being said, let's get into Czech Teote's greatest club 11. Tim Krul, the Dutch international is now in his 12th year at Newcastle, but spent last season out on loan at Ajax and then AZ Alkmaar. Krul's best years coincided with Teote's best years for the Magpies and it made him an obvious choice for this team. Mathieu Debuchy, probably the best right back to play with Teote at club level. The Arsenal man isn't getting as much game time now, but he was a regular at St James's Park. While Ryan Taylor certainly could have been included, we decided to plump for this Frenchman. Fabrizio Colaccini, a hat-trick of former Newcastle teammates, Colaccini has to be included in this squad. Colaccini may have had a few dodgy moments with the Magpies, but over his eight year stay on Tyneside, he was a truly important player, and captain decide that Teote was a member of. In fact, Teote actually deputised as captain while Colaccini was out injured during the 2013 season. And after being given the armband at Newcastle, Teote put some excellent performances for Alan Pardew's side. Vincent Company. Teote and Company played together very briefly at Andale, the club that both players began their professional careers at. Though Company was a regular first team member, Teote was still trying to break his way into the Belgian side, before Company went on to join Hamburg and then Manchester City, where he captained them to two Premier League titles. Davide Santon, the man heralded as the next Paolo Maldini, played alongside Czech Teote throughout his entire career with Newcastle. Following Teote's passing, Santon took to Instagram to post, I cannot believe this sad news, a great player and a great friend. You went away way too soon. Best memories together at Newcastle United, RIP brother. Lucas Biglia, another man that Teote had played with alongside at Anderlecht. He spent seven years with the Belgian Giants and went on to win four league titles. A classy and intelligent defensive midfielder, he's also won 48 caps for Argentina and played in every knockout game in the 2014 World Cup. Johan Kabay, a man that formed an incredible partnership with Teote in Newcastle. With Teote doing all the dirty defensive work, it allowed Kabay to move forward and create plenty of chances for Newcastle strikers. In fact, back in 2012, Kabay told Sky Sports that he loves playing with Teote and said that he is a very, very good midfielder and allows the rest of the team to attack. And after hearing the news about Teote, Kabay took to Twitter to tweet, Words fail to describe my sadness. I'm really devastated. We all miss you. Genie Wijnaldum. His season spent with Teote wasn't the happiest of ones, as Newcastle did end up getting relegated from the Premier League. However, Wijnaldum was excellent in short bursts, netting 11 times and taking the sword well and truly to Norwich City. Hatton Ben Arthur. Arguably the best player to play with Teote at club level, Ben Arthur was adored on Tyneside, thanks to his classy performances and stunning goals. Ben Arthur was excellent alongside Teote during the 2011-2012 campaign, in which the Magpies finished 5th in the Premier League. With Teote mopping up everything in midfield, Ben Arthur was allowed the freedom to cause as much mayhem for defenders as he wanted. Demba Barr, the first centre forward in this team was a man that was really close to Czech Teote, and one of the first people to break the news of his tragic passing. Bar was excellent during his time at Newcastle, netting 29 goals in just 54 games. Incredibly, Bar actually spoke to Teote just hours before his passing, and took to Twitter to post his final messages with his great friend, Loi Gremi. We could have included Brian Ruiz, Andy Carroll, and a whole host of other strikers that Teote spent playing time with, but we decided to go for Loic Remy. The Frenchman had a short but prolific spell alongside Teote in Newcastle, and after hearing the news of his friend's passing, Remy took to Instagram to post, one of the strongest midfielders that I ever played with, gone far too young. Rest in peace and God bless to all your family in this difficult time. Let us know who you think the best player that Teote played with at club level in the comment section, and be sure to like, share and subscribe for more football content.